Okay, so let's talk about eyeliners. And I used to be a huge gel eyeliner fanatic. This is the black ink color longwear uh, gel eyeliner from Bobbi Brown. These were fantastic. Okay, well that one works still pretty well. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be like a no-go. Little black bow fluid line from MAC. I think this was a limited edition Christmas. We'll back to MAC that one. Not much pigment in it. Another one from MAC, this is Dark Diversion. It's a beautiful, um, dark burgundy color. I'm kind of dried up. We'll get rid of you. We'll back to Mac U. Another one from Bobbi Brown. This is Violet Ink. This is kind of a metallic purple. Yeah, that's actually pretty nice too. That'll stay. I'm shocked. <laughs> Uh, this one is Dark Envy. It's MAC um, fluid line. Beautiful kind of metallic -y green. So those are staying. I already mentioned the Suva Hydra liners. Those are staying. And the two from Inglot. These are staying in a kind of a beautiful tealy color and the black. I always have to get black for some reason. You always need a good black. Okay, let's see what else we've got going on here. Uh, this is the MAC Chromaline uh, Pure White. I think this is great for a base. Nice and creamy. Um, I'll probably keep it around. I like to store these, obviously, lid tight, but I also store them in the drawers, so there's no, there's nothing that gets to them. Okay, next here, I know this isn't an eyeliner, but this is the Color Tattoo Toughest Taupe. This used to be huge. No, that sucker's dried out. <laughs> Bye. Next is the Aqua Black, and this is a waterproof cream eyeshadow from Makeup Forever. Oh, wow. It's got like a little lid on it. No, that's actually pretty good. So I think that lid and the lack of use has helped. <laughs> so we'll keep that. This one is Strut by um, Benefit. It's a cream eyeshadow. Pretty color, it's like a steely. No, that's no good. Undress Beige by Dior. Um, I remember using this and getting it, and I think I got it because I feel like my friend who was selling me it, who was lovely. It's nice, it's very sparkly and gold. I'm gonna put you to the side and a very strong possibility of getting rid of you, okay. I have Camel Coat Pro Longwear Paint Pot by MAC. This is nice, still nice and creamy, it hasn't dried out. It's a nice, um, taupey, like on a pinky, taupey kind of color, so we're gonna keep that. Black, black? Black, black? I think this is a chroma line. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, you feel like you've dried out. Okay, so let's get rid of you. Back to MAC. Um, this is Green Stroke. It's another paint pot. Yeah, you feel dried out. You know you're a very pretty color. Groundwork. Really creamy. You're gonna stay. Uh, Nubile. It's like a creamy, you can tell there. Oh, that's nice. That's still creamy. I don't know how much use I'll get out of you, but it's still nice. Uh, this is quite natural. You can generally tell when they've gone bad, when they um, have separated from the sides, and uh, this one's dried out. No. Bye. Okay guys, so now that I have some battery back into my camera, let's uh, continue on. I grab myself a little, little tea here. Mmm, lemon cayenne white tea. Very good. Little spicy, little citrusy. Just the way I like it. Okay. So, let's continue with, I think they were kind of like cream shadow stuff. 
This is Bare Study. This is a Pro Longwear by MAC. Let's see how you are. That's a shimmery, very pretty base. It's very nice. So we'll keep that. Next here is Urban Decay Perversion. This is a cream eyeliner. Let's see how you are. So far I haven't done well with a lot of uh, Urban Decay. No, that's going. Let's dry it up. Dry it up. Okay, next is a Longwear Cream Shadow. This is a cream shadow, not a cream liner. Let's get rid of that. This is by Bobbi Brown. Well, it's still actually pretty creamy. It's a beautiful metallic bronze. I need to use these more often. I have uh, Sandy Gold by Bobbi Brown. Again, a nice little base, neutral, natural. This is called Galaxy. Silvery, kind of metallic. That's nice. Those are very creamy. I think this is Ballet Pink. I'm more of a matte. That's really pretty. Those are good. Here's a gel liner. This is a Sapphire Shimmer. It's by Bobbi Brown. Let's see how good you are. Still nice and creamy. That's how easy are you to put on. Pretty, pretty easy. That's really pretty. It's a black and uh, navy blue as you probably could well imagine and guess. This is I think a beach. No, this is burnished. Oh, that's really pretty. It's like a coppery, bronzy color. So we'll keep those. Okay, so let's move those aside. Colourpop. This color is Smash. I love this color. I use it often. You can tell it is dried down, but I still use it. Really pretty. It reminds me a, a little bit of that um, last one burnished by Bobbi Brown, but just a little bit lighter. So I love wearing that if I want a natural look. We'll keep that. Uh, next is the Golden Brown by Burberry. These have an interesting kind of texture. It's almost like a little dome. It's creamy. It's a nice deep neutral brown put all over the eyelid. I love using cream shadows for um, easy, you know, day looks that I just want to skip out and have something on. You're going to see a lot of brown and brown tones. This is the Josie Moran Coconut Water Eyeshadow. I love this. I think this is like a really interesting formulation. Um, they don't, I don't think they make it anymore. It has like a sponge tip, um, a little bit deeper color, but just lovely nonetheless. So that's going to stay. Uh, soft Ochre Paint Pot. That's not going anywhere. Um, I don't like to use it as a primer because I don't feel like it makes things last long because I have fairly oily eyelids so I actually have to use an eyelid primer or set it really really well. Uh, next is this Tom Ford. It's called Platinum. It's like a moussey texture. It's pretty but um, I don't know what I was expecting out of it because I had heard a lot of it on YouTube but it's nice so I'm going to keep that. So this is uh, the color Get Lucky. Oh this has seen better days. It's this really pretty soft gold that I don't I love this kind of color gold I don't like super orangey yellowy golds um, really pretty I love that so that's not going anywhere so I'll just have to press it those are so soft okay uh, next is fluffy I ordered this just recently when from Sephora when it first started it still has like the, the imprint um, this is okay color has a bit of a it's a peachy gold with a with a little bit of a pinky flash to it um, It's not what I expected. It's okay um, I know it's like five bucks, but I haven't really given it much um, I haven't used much of it, so I, I want to just try it out a little bit more Next here is So Quiche. This is a very interesting color. I, this, when it first came out, this was like a color that a lot of people gravitated towards. It has like little micro pink, uh, it's got gray and green, and a very, very interesting, unique um, color combination. But yeah, you can see those pink um, micro glitters in there. So that's not going anywhere, that's still pretty good. 
Uh, next is Hammered. Hammered, I, I believe, is like a gray, uh, green color. So that's really pretty. That's that's not going anywhere. These, I don't think a lot of my color pops are going anywhere, to be honest with you, because I just they're so easy to use, and I'm a kind of person who likes to use my fingers. Um, again, your fingers are your best tools, and you have them. They don't cost anything, so imagine that. Okay, uh, on the rocks, let's feel what you are like. Oh, you're still pretty nice and creamy. It's like a nice bronzy with some micro glitters in there. Fringe. Fringe is a very goldy toned, oh, super creamy. Really pretty for a highlight, inner corner highlight that is. So that's not really going anywhere. Um, girly. Girly is like this white gold with some pink. Still very creamy. Yeah, that's nice. I like using these, uh, as I've said, when I'm just kind of wanting an easy day makeup. Um, would I need to throw on a five minute face type thing? Okay, next is a, a number three. Um, my other point was that I also like using these when I go out on a date or something um, because I do like getting made up but not like full on. So this is the color three. I think this is a very unique, it's a brown, it's got micro glitters, it's got like kind of a, a purpley blue almost um, shimmer to it. Very interesting. And finally this is Lala. I think this is my least favorite color. Um, it's a rose gold, but very kind of coppery orange rose gold. So I don't use that a lot because it's not what I expected. I like the rose golds that aren't this kind of orangey. I prefer more of a, um, a gold, but with a hint of pink to it. So that's a possible no thanks going bye-bye. I didn't do so well there, but I have gotten rid of a lot of other cream shadows. So we'll put those off to the side a little bit. Okay, time for some tea. Cheers. Delicious. Next, these are the Aqua Cream um, by Makeup Forever. I have a few of those. Ooh, this have separated as you can see from the sides. Um, yeah, that's gonna go. Let's see what these ones like. Oh, this was so pretty. This is the color 17 in that formulation. It's a deep, dark burgundy. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. Yeah, that's nice. I might keep that. These are nice bases. They do stay put. So, I don't know. I don't even know if they make them anymore. Uh, this is a Chanel Et Um It's that really interesting formulation that everyone liked. I can't remember what it's called. Ombre. What was it called? What are these called? Illusion d'Ombre. Oh, the whole thing just popped out. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, let's just see how you still work. It's got a be still beautiful pigmentation. It's just, it's not securely in there. It's a beautiful uh, silvery purple color. I love that kind of tone. Um, uh, <laughs> we'll just keep that there. Uh, this is the Aqua Cream color 11. This is that... This is an interesting metallic -y, very metallic -y gold. Um, very cool color. I'm going to keep that. The last from the Aqua Creams is color 20. It's a very metallic -y blue. Do you still work really well? Yeah, you're still pretty good. Yeah, we'll keep you too. I don't know. Are these creams? It's like a cream powder. This is Dion um, by... Uh, this is the Dual Intensity formulation. It's not cream as I know it, but it's like a cream powder, and these are just gorgeous. Those aren't going anywhere. I have two colors within that line. Uh, I don't know what the other one is, but that's going to be kept. Um, this is the next one. This is a lid smoothie by Clinique. This is licorice. Um, this is going to go. Quick eye sh cream shadow in the color uh, Sunlit Palm. It's this beautiful golden... Um, sagey khaki kind of color, olivey. 
Um, that's it right there. I'm going to probably get rid of you. You're old. From Laura Mercier. Uh, I have it in the color rose gold and alloy. I love these. These paints are metallic cream eye colors. I don't even know if she makes them, but when I thought of rose gold, this is more of what I liked. It's a little bit more of a toned down version of Lala. Um, I like that. Like that's, that's really pretty to me. Um, so I'm going to keep that. These are, these are fairly old though, so, um, we'll see how they perform. And the next one here is Alloy. Alloy is kind of a silvery purpley kind of tone. That's really pretty. Okay, so those are, those are going to be kept for right now. <laughs> so, okay, so... What I thought I would probably get rid of, I did not, so that's interesting. Before it gets too long, and before you become too bored, I'm going to have another little sip of my tea. I'm going to get this edited so you guys can enjoy. Um, I do have a few other categories of makeup that I need to declutter. Lipsticks and single eyeshadows. Um, yeah, I'm just looking over at them now and uh, like liquid lipsticks and so forth. So not just bullet forms, but other the glosses and, and so forth. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.